Okay, hello. Since I can't be at class Friday, um, I'm making a couple of videos that will take you through the process of making a patcher. I've put up here what it is I want to do. So the first patcher is going to be one that lets me draw with a mouse to produce MIDI notes with variable velocity. Then if there's time, we'll map the output of the drawing to a defined set of pitches. So um, if we want to draw, it's in one of the tutorials. There is an object called the LCD. Hit return, and it's going to bring up a panel that I can draw in. If I lock the patch, I can move my mouse around. If I hold the mouse down and draw, it's going to show me what's there. Um, I'm going to delete and start over. Um, so what I want to do is um, control the size and we're going to learn about some uh, inspector aspects. Let's, I know I need to move this in so you can see it. There we go. Um, so I've got the inspector open and I've got the LCD. If you look over here to the patching rectangle, um, let's make that a little bit bigger. There's four numbers, and it shows me the X and Y location of the top left corner, and then the width and the height. So it's 128 by 128, and that's fine. I want to make it just a little bit bigger, so I'm going to double click in here and change the 128 to 256 and change both of them. Um, so now I have a bigger LCD to draw in, and if I lock the patch, hold down the mouse button, I can draw. Now it's going to get messy because it never goes away, so there's a very important thing that I need to add. I'm going to unlock the patch, and I'm going to add a message object, M for message, and the message is going to be clear. Um, and it knows that it works with the LCD. It's a method that does something particular, erases the contents of the LCD display. So I'll connect its outlet to the left inlet for drawing commands of the LCD. And now if I lock the patch and hit clear, it goes away. So I can draw and erase. Draw and erase. Okay, so we'll use that as we need just to keep things clear and going on. Now, I want to add another unlock, add another message object, and this one I'm going to leave blank. I'm going to select it and drag it, make it a little bit wider. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to take the left outlet, and you'll see that it says this is the X and Y location when I am clicking the mouse or holding the mouse button down. I'm going to connect that to the right inlet of the message and you see that that sets the message without outputting, and it's a way to update. So this is like a little mini print object in my patch. And now if I like the patch and I draw, I'm going to see two numbers that tells me an X location and a Y location. You'll notice, <coughs> excuse me, that the X gets, uh, goes from small on the left to large on the right. The Y goes from small at the top too large at the bottom. And this is the way computer screens are mapped. Top left is 0, 0. Uh, bottom right is the maximum size of your screen. Uh, so clear again. And um, so that's what the LCD is doing. When I click on it, it's giving me XY locations. All right. So um, I'm going to set up my patch to use these. Move just a little bit further up, move it over here. Um, now, if I want to get at these objects individually, I need to break apart the list. This is a list. I'm seeing two integer numbers together as a single message. Uh, so there's an object for this, in for new object, and unpack. Unpack will break down a list into separate items that are output from separate outlets. You have to know how long the list is. I know that the list is two items, and I know that it's integers. 
So I'm going to type a zero. And a zero, I'm telling unpack that there are uh, zero space zero. I'm telling unpack that there are two integers in the list. When I hit return, I'll see that there's one inlet, two outlets, left item in the list, right item, or element one, element two. And I'll connect that. And I'll connect the two number boxes, so I for integer. And I can option drag and do another. Lock the patch and I'm gonna draw. And you can see that same numbers that are in the message are being displayed as separate items after unpacking. So 202 is my X, 88 is my Y. All right. So it's pretty easy to do uh, some simple making of notes. I'm going to unlock my patch, make a make note, um, say 127 for key velocity, and it's going to be 250 milliseconds. I also need a note out object, pitch, velocity to the middle, pitch, velocity. I'm going to line it all up. And now if I lock the patch, so I'm already making notes, but there's a couple problems. Uh, if I get high up on the X, it just starts repeating because I'm above 127. And it gets louder um, as I go down. And that's kind of counterintuitive. So I've got two problems. It, the range of the LCD is too high, and the velocity is counterintuitive. High is soft when I would like high, vertical high, to be loud. So I've got an easy solution for both problems. I'm going to unlock the patch, hold down your Option key, and you can drag over patch cords and select them. So I'm going to break them away from the make note. Uh, and I'm going to use the scale object. So scale, I use this in class. You specify an incoming range. So uh, my range of this LCD it has 256 values, so that is 0 to 255. 0 to 255. And I want to map it on to MIDI pitch. And that's 0 to 127. And let's connect that. And Let's connect the number box. Make this a little bit lower. So this is scaled pitch. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to select both of them. and I'm going to option drag. That keeps them patched together when it makes a copy. So that saves me just a little patching time. So velocity, also in the same range. And I also want it to output the same range. And I'm locked the patch, I'm gonna draw again. So now I'm off the LCD. And so that's a little bit of a glitch that I can go above the number of the LCD. If I stay in the LCD, I stay below 127. But it's still soft when I go high and loud when I go low. So I need to reverse the range of output. And that's easy to do with scale. So instead of scaling from 0 to 127, I can scale from 127 to 0, which means when, um, when the value is 0, it's going to output 127. As I move towards 255, which is down, it's going to go to 0. And now, if I lock, Get softer as I go down, louder as I go up, and it's intuitive. And I can do whatever I want. I can draw pictures now. And if I really could draw, I'd be making more money because artists can sell their paintings. Uh, but I can.
there. So that's the first part. I've got a patcher, lets me draw, produces MIDI notes with variable velocity, and it's intuitive. Low pitches are on the left, high pitches are on the right, low velocity is down, high velocity is up. So I'm gonna stop this video here, and I will also upload this, so you'll see it. I'm going to save it as, um, this is day five, even though not really meeting. It's the LCD MIDI. And it's called LCD MIDI 1. And I'll save this and I'll upload it and I'll post to this. So there you go. But you also should be able to recreate it if you just follow along with the video. I'll save and I'm going to stop this video.